Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp, DoorDash, and Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's episode. One, two, three. Bam! One, two, three. Bam! Welcome to the Tri Plog, everybody. It's another plog. It's another day. We're back in the car. Yabbo, yabbo. We are getting a car wash today, uh, an idea that Miles had all on his own, and not because his car was absolutely blasted with bird <laughs> shit. Well, so I don't know what happened, but the fucking birds uh, took it outrage upon my, my car. Miles, there could not be <laughs> more bird so shit. So much bird uh, shit. It looks like a year's worth of bird shit. I don't. I've I've driven I've had a car in LA for yeah. a decade. I know. I don't think I've cumulatively had this much bird shit in my car. I honestly <laughs> like it's almost like I did it as like, oh, we have to get a car wash, so I'm gonna make my car really poopy. But it's not what happened. The car <laughs> the birds just came out and they really upset me. But <laughs> there's so much white poop on the car. It's a gray car. It's- Prius. Hey, we love the Prius, except for when we get sponsored by other brands. That's right. Maybe this video (laughs) might actually have a different car sponsor on it. And we love them both, except we love the ones that pay us more. Yeah, honey. Now, hi. How are you feeling this morning, Zach? Pretty good. Rainy, let's do a check-in. Rainy? (laughs) I feel good. I have to say I'm in the backseat middle, which is reminiscent. I don't know if you guys had two siblings and two parents, Mm. but for me... I was sitting in the middle seat when I lost the bet, you know? What's that? Oh, because, oh, like, nobody wants the middle seat. Rochambeau, and then Rainy got in trouble, and it was like, Rainy, you suck in the middle seat. Yeah. I had one friend growing up who had uh, not quite a minivan, Mm -hmm. but it was a car that had the trunk seat. Yeah. Was you could fold up his chair, Mm -hmm. and then you were facing backwards. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Oh. they called monkey seats. No, they don't. They called them monkey seats because I actually asked if Keith's car had monkey seats <laughs> because we were trying to figure out we would record last week's blog. Now and I was wondering if Keith's car had monkey seats and it did not. A monkey seat, yeah, exhilarating as a kid because you are one moving backwards through space and time. Big time. You are looking. You're making eye contact with other drivers, mm. which is and- very upsetting. If you're in the car behind and you see two kids being like. <laughs> And we would wave, we would try and get them to honk, we would try and get people to smile. Oh, we were just little nuisances. But looking back, Mm. horribly dangerous. Yeah, feels like if you got into a car accident, you would implode. If if we got rear-ended, us little kiddos would just go pop. Yeah, it's also like a vomit machine, kind (laughs) of. You ever get sick? Never. In a monkey seat? Not once. Do you get, well, you're somebody with tummy troubles in general. Mm -hmm. You're sort of a tummy king. I'm a tummy king, yep. Yeah. Short, and, short know, tummy king. Short tummy king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you never got sick in the monkey seat. A GI princess. A uh, GI. Hmm. I, uh, <laughs> I don't get car sick. <laughs> I just feel very blessed that I don't get car sick, Rainy. I do get car sick. Oh. I in, know. In the middle seat, especially? Especially in the middle seat, especially when I'm reading. Well, stay tuned for that because yeah. <laughs> Rainy's on the ones and twos. <laughs> Uh, That's right, Rainy's on the runs and two, so any audio issues, it's going to be on Rainy. Uh Uh-oh, don't say that. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) So we are going to get a car wash, but first we are going to get Starbucks because, as Miles said, coffee is now... It's part uh, of our brand. It's part of the brand. It's part of the brand. It's on the company. It is gratis. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not happy about this. Yeah, and you know, but here's the thing though. I've made it content. And honestly, the numbers <laughs> reflect that we should be getting coffee every time. And and I agree with that. The thing that I'm not happy about is that we're going to Starbucks because Starbucks has the shittiest tea. No, big time. On the planet. And it's because they scorch their tea. It's too hot mm. and it's oversteeped. Yeah. And so now you are forcing me. You're forcing me yeah. to get a little treat. Or a muffin or a cu- pumpkin loaf. No, I could never. What no. about matcha? You I used to like get a, you could get a matcha. Yeah, but that's the thing. The matcha oh, and the chai, sugary. And so you are mm. forcing me. Yeah. It's not my choice. I know. I'm being forced to get a little treat this morning. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm going to get vegan. a Vegan. Could little, be a little vegan treat. A little sugar treat. It could be a little vegan treat. Tarbuck has many do, things. Do you think they have vegan treats? I bet they do. But here's the thing that I actually heard that I'm really jonesed on. Mm. That I'm going to see if they have. Mm. And I'm not quite sure... They might have a dirty cha cha. <laughs> what is a dirty cha cha? Somebody was tweeting at me, shout out, about a dirty cha cha. It's a half chai, half matcha with with a shot of espresso in it. 
That's a lot. <laughs> the dirty cha-cha. And by, the way that you just shook. I'm excited. You just channeled your inner Will Whitwer. <laughs> you just really became <laughs> Will. I'm excited about the dirty cha-cha because, first of all, I'm, I'm excited to see if they'll even do it. So, okay, here's what we have to do. You're going to go and you're going to ask for a dirty cha-cha. Yeah. And then when they say, what? I'm going to say, oh, just half chai, no, half. No, no, no. You say, a the dirty, dirty cha-cha. cha-cha. I have to clarify. <laughs> and now, if they don't know, then you custom order. And this is sort of, yeah, right. This is sort of burgeoning on what would be a prank. But I want to say that I'm not intending it to be. I'm intending to get a little treat for I don't, me. No, this isn't a prank. This is education. Well, the title's going to be hashtag prank. <laughs> no, it's absolutely <laughs> not going to be. It's going to be we... We took the podcast to the car wash. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think I'm going to get a dirty cha-cha too. Is that copying? Is that plagiarism? <laughs> Rainy, I don't know that you can handle that much uh, 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 caffeine. Maybe because you're in the backseat, but that was such little sister energy. For <laughs> sister. Maybe like, I'm going to get a church judge and be like, you can't handle it, kid. You I just remember the time. The caffeine. I just remember the time you had like a sip of an energy drink and you were vibrating off the wall. That was a good day. Yeah. So this is just to be, to be clear. This, I mean, you know what? No, I take it back. Rainy, I can't fucking wait. I, by the way, I find myself getting nostalgic sometimes. Like I'll get, because I create all these new YouTube accounts for all the different shows we have. Sometimes on one of the accounts, like on the Guilty Pleasures account, I'll get recommended an old tripod episode. Oh, and it yeah. really makes me nostalgic because I'm like, I forgot we did any of this shit. We've done so many of them. I don't, should we, um... I'll get together. Let's pick a date on our calendar yeah. 10 years from now. Whoa. Put it in our calendars yeah. and not think about it until that date comes up. <laughs> and let's set a time and place. To, to do what? No, hear me out. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll still be recording the podcast. In- <laughs> yeah. I mean, Rainy's going to be like heading up fucking NPR by then. Wow. Spotify will have sold to us. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what I want to do. I want to, 10 years from now, we're going to put in our calendar. And by the way, if you're listening, I think you should do this with all your friends, yeah, different like friend groups. Yeah. Pick a time, sure. pick a location, mm-hmm. a yeah. public location that cannot change. Yeah. It can't be like Mark's house because like yeah. Mark's house ain't going to fucking be there. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's gonna, It's going to get fucking gentrified. Yeah. Mark's house is <laughs> six feet deep, but it's an <laughs> equinox now. <laughs> but if you do like, okay, we do like March 14th. Yeah. 2032, uh-huh. the abandoned zoo. Ooh. 10 a.m. Podcast. And it's a podcast reunion where we go and we listen to episodes together. Oh. And wow. we Aww. each bring wine and cheese. Wine and cheese. <laughs> Would you ever go to your high school reunion? I did go to my high school you reunion. Did? How was it? Was everyone like, oh my God? Uh, mm-hmm. It was. But I mean, I definitely wanted to go because I was a hot You've shot. been successful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were like, I'm successful now. I'm, I'm comfortable going. It was. um. Was it my? T- it was, I think, my five-year reunion. Yeah, which is stupid. You shouldn't have that. No, that's You're really year- too close. To <laughs> no, actually, it was. <laughs> no, it still like, wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was my first time wrong. I graduated wrong. college, and you're like, "Hey, guys, I'm back." <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It was my ten-year reunion, um, and it was fine. It the person who put it together, no shade, no hate, but chose a place that had blasting music and like oh, dim lights and tough. so it was mm. like all I wanted to do was catch up with people and it was like hey uh, what's up yeah. yeah no life's good mm. good to see you mm. um, that's tough that's my least favorite part of type of bar really yeah yeah but it was it was nice to go and and be important <laughs> miles how do you feel would you go uh, I'm tr- so my 10 year anniversary <laughs> anniversary 10 year reunion was during the pandemic. Yeah, uh, so and the it, fucking yeah. there was no alumni th- like coordinator yeah. that was like, hey, by the way, guys, we're gonna do it a little later. So I think I, it's on me to re- coordinate. That honestly, <laughs> that tr- that tracks. Yeah, like I felt like I was like, no one else is probably gonna do it. I do want to see all these people. I'm sure we'd all have fun. There's only 40 kids in my graduating class, but that's kind of why I was like, oh. I almost wanted to be like my class, the class above, and the class below. Uh-huh. Are you gonna do it at? In your hometown, or yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I guess you I would have be to. like probably on Thanksgiving break is when a lot of them are. Miles, I think you should do that. But I do I'll miss come. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about it later. I mean, I think that sounds great. Like, yeah, I would yeah. love to meet your friends. <laughs> no, for sure. I'm sure Sarah's going to be busy. <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Has to take care <laughs> my of... Fr- my friend Jay's been doing this thing where whenever I'm like, oh, I went to this new restaurant the other day, he goes, oh, that's so weird. My phone must have been off. We <laughs> 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 laugh every time. Rainy, what? are you going to go to your tenure? I don't know. I, I'm overwhelmed It's in like 10 it. years, right? Well, here's what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you until 
chill now. Um, I recently, I, I love the idea of it, but like, for example, there is, I was home for Easter actually. And there's this Easter party. That's all the rage. Like it's like literally huh. just too much. And I didn't go because I was overwhelmed. So I feel like if there was a high school reunion, I'd be excited by the idea, but then I wouldn't go. Okay, we need to... Yeah. What the fuck is an Easter party? And should we get going to Yeah, our... I'm going to start getting going. I'm going to make sure I know how to get to the drive through There is a yearly Easter party. Yeah, but it's not like a high school spot. It's just like my mom's friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my mom's friend. All right, Zach, I'm going to need you to hold my mic to me. Yeah, and by the way, I think I want a virgin cha-cha. Oh, the virgin cha-chas. So I'm going to get a half chai, half matcha? That's crazy. I'm getting a half chai, half matcha. That's Luda. Luda! What am I doing today? I don't know. I mean, do you have any meetings or important stuff to do? Or you kind of just, this is one of those days where you just kind of look <laughs> back at it all and wonder what it's all worth. <laughs> That's every day. That's every day. <laughs> What's a good work day for you? Is it a shoot day? Is it a day when you come in and you're like, I'm just answering calls and grinding emails? No, my favorite days. Ooh. Oh, that's wow. the freaking drive-thru. Oh, that's the drive through. Okay, honey. God, we have to turn this reverse beep off. You're not a fucking truck. <laughs> this is a Prius. <laughs> hey, Zach. My car isn't customizable, okay? Elon Musk didn't make it with his bare hands. <laughs> Uh, my perfect day, and I've had a lot of them lately, yeah. is is editing. Uh, really? Yeah. I see you've been getting back on the sticks. I know. And, and MJ was like, and we're so happy you're here. <laughs> <laughs> we're so happy our boss is two tables away from us watching our every move. But I, they made the mistake of teaching me how to get remote access to our computers. So oh, yeah. we have this thing called a uh, jump desktop where yeah. I can be at home on my laptop and then mm -hmm. be using our work computer. And you go, why would you need that? Well, our work computers are so much faster. And so it's faster than plugging a hard drive into my computer. But I told you I was able to re-edit some of the um, uh, wedding episode, the second right. one. I was able to, I, not, I didn't do shit, but I was looking at footage to help Devlin to give notes on uh, the third episode. Right. Um, I did some finishing on the Mario Shrooms episode that just came out yeah. and then uh, was working on the short film while Elliot's out of town. So it's just been really fun to, yeah, awesome. to dive into that. That, that to me, is a pretty perfect day. Elliot is editing the short film? Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Oh, that's yeah, cool. but right now he is in Japan for two weeks, which is dope what? as hell. So is MJ. I know. They're going to be in Osaka together for oh. one day, oh, but so I don't funny. think they'll see each other. Why not? Wow. They're besties. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that's really awesome, though. I do miss editing um, like long-form stuff. It's been a long time. Although yeah. the plogs, I mean, obviously, Rainy does the first pass. I do the second. But the plogs feel more like a video. Oh, yeah. And it makes them more dynamic. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and looking at my schedule today... Yeah, you had a busy day today? It's not that. I mean, I have two podcasts in the afternoon, so I think that... You know what? Fuck it. We're going for the virgin cha-cha. We're going virgin, it's everyone. It's too funny to not do. <laughs> yeah. And I also don't even know what that's going to taste like. And virgin virgin is no dirty? <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> a virgin cha-cha? Maybe I should just call it a clean. A clean cha-cha. Clean cha-cha. And so one clean cha-cha, two... And do you want oat? <laughs> What kind of question is that? I just figured I'd ask. You don't in case have to ask. I'm going to tell you right now, you never have to ask again for as long as you live. It's the su <laughs> it's the supreme milk. Here's the question. Is soy canceled? Uh, no, soy is not canceled. We're just not... <laughs> He's media trained on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by the way, Zach just went into PR mode. <laughs> So <laughs> soy is just not what we want anymore. It I think it has too distinct of a flavor. It's just we're going in different directions. No, we soy look, is sort of doing their own thing. We, and yeah, we started with soy milk, and then we were like, mm, it's got too much of a distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. It's closer to coconut, and we I don't mean it tastes yeah. like coconut. I just mean it's distinct. We then regret we got to, to inform you that soy is no longer a member of the dragons. <laughs> we can cut that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> it was clever. I just can't comment on it. Uh, I then we moved on to almond milk, but almond milk, frankly, a little watery. Then and almonds are bad for the environment. And then we discovered oat, and we're like, oh fuck me up. Yeah. This is where it's, you know I we make our own oat milk at our house now. <laughs> I was just imagining. <laughs> you wake up from a dream. You're just standing in your house talking about different types of milks. <laughs> Maggie's like Zach, Zach. <laughs> We make our own oat milk and soy milk's basically <laughs> over. But yeah. <laughs> um, Ooh, guys, a cookie and cream birthday pop. 
We could get that. It's cookies and cream or birthday pop. No way. They could do what do you guys though. think about uh, cake pops? I think, I think they're stupid. I think they're kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like a cake pop, but it's like, give me a fucking cupcake. What am I, a child? I like how dense they are. They're really dense and really sugary. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, how'd they get a whole cake into a little pop? Take the fluffiness of cake and just push it down and put, it, put fresh fruit. Yeah, it's jam-packed with cake flavor. Also, by the way, I don't know what they're doing with the pumpkin loaf, but they're putting pepita in it. <laughs> I see that. I what does up. that mean? The pumpkin and pepita loaf. What is pepita? It's a type of seed. Oh. By the way, it's a good thing that we're recording a podcast because if we weren't, this drive through would be a waste of fucking time. We have been here for like 10 minutes. I don't know that we're making it to the car wash. Should we back up? Oh, we're locked in. We did the drive through Now, once. I noticed that we're not moving and I'm still holding your microphone. So I'm oh, good go point. Yeah, no, I can hold it you. when we're sitting, when we're, when we're static in the drive through What Randy, if we... how's the sound going, by the way? It's going um, good, I think. But awesome. here's what I'll say about podcast producing. Sometimes Let's... you think it's going all good. And then you get to the SD card, <laughs> and there's something that completely Zach, actually. wrong. <laughs> well, something. I'd say it happened to you no, hang on, hang on. with <laughs> something that I took the noble lead in recording. Yeah, you and <laughs> no. Keith recorded an episode that came out last week yeah. at an airport. Yeah, sure and, did. And uh, somehow 10 minutes of it, honestly, the people won't even notice. This is just behind the scenes. BTS. But 10 minutes of it will never be seen. 10 minutes will never be seen. And I think it's a good thing because 10 <laughs> yeah, minutes, right. the first 10 minutes, Keith and I were like, so uh, the, what do you think about <laughs> chairs <laughs> like we were just really spinning our wheels yeah and then luckily a plane came and it was magic from there wow. this episode is brought to you by better help getting to know yourself is a lifelong process especially because we're always growing and changing look the core of us stays the same but as we grow as we age we change and getting to know yourself is one of the great honors that we have in this life. Uh, it's, it's a lifelong process. That work is never done. And it really is a treat to carve out time for yourself to, to get to know yourself. That is the deepest and most intimate relationship that you could ever have. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who can take you on that journey of self-discovery from wherever you are. That is my favorite part about it and why I use it is because it is as flexible as I need it to be. I can schedule video conferences wherever I am. I can go on a walk. I can do it in my car. I can do it at the office. I can do it at home. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. And look, you can switch therapists at any time. Sometimes it takes a few times to find someone that you click with. They make it easy to go through and find someone who is a perfect match. Discover your potential with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash tripod today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash tripod. It is so irritating when I wake up in the morning to make my smoothie. Y'all know I love my smoothie. And I realize that I'm out of bananas or frozen blueberries or just one of the things that I need to get through my day, that last minute need item. And I don't want to have to run to the grocery store. I'm a busy boy. I'm a busy bee. Well, look, you've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant faves. And now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. You got thousands of grocery stores to choose from. You're going to find the best in your neighborhood and boost that local e-com with each and every order. So you can save on all your grocery and restaurant faves with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. Get 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $10 value when you use code TRY2023 at checkout. Limited time offer terms apply. That's 50% off up to a $10 value on a $15 minimum subtotal. And zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code TRY2023. Don't forget, that's code TRY2023, all one word, for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Um, I do want to go back to the soy yeah. moment. Because here's what's yeah. overwhelming about me, for me, to soy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for keeping us on track, right? <laughs> Thanks for keeping us on track, by the yeah. way. Um, okay, here's all the same thing. Edamame, tofu, soy milk. <laughs> That's too much. That's to a good me. point, actually. <laughs> when you order soy, you're basically ordering edamame to go. Edamame milk. <laughs> edamame to it's milk. like yeah. if you juiced a bunch of edamames, yeah. you would have soy milk. And Can I just have edamame? So different. 
An yeah. edamame latte. An ed- <laughs> that is a really good point. It's kind of good the garbanzo bean chickpea controversy. What is that? Well, garbanzo are beans are thing. chickpeas. They are. Hey, we don't want to wait into we don't want to touch that we don't want to touch that with a wiron fist (laughs) (laughs) what is it touch it with a nine foot pole is what i was looking for with an iron fist. we don't want to touch that with an iron iron fist okay guys we're getting real close this is the moment we're getting close oh this is is the moment okay here we go hi um uh, do you guys have cha-chas the like like a a cha-cha um chai and matcha do you have a, it's like chai, can you, would you be possible to do a custom order that's half chai, half matcha? Uh, we can do that. That sounds awesome. Um, and is it possible to make that dirty as well? So a dirty cha-cha, so it's like a shot of espresso and half chai, half matcha? Yeah, uh, what size is this? Um, grande. I'm grande. gonna get a grande. Two and grande. Can I, we're gonna Three get grande. two grandes. What, two dirty, two dirty cha-chas and one clean cha-cha with oat milk, please. And then, yeah, the other ones can be whole. And is it possible to get no classic on the uh, clean? What does that mean? On the, you know, never mind. We're good. Never mind. And then can we also get a cake pop? Ask if they have any little vegan um, treats. A uh, a chocolate croissant. And then do you have any vegan stuff? Any vegan, vegan pastries? Treats? Any little vegan, vegan treats? treats? No, not really pastries. I have like a plain bagel. That's not gonna cut it. Um, no, we're all good on that. Just the chocolate croissant and the cake pop. Why are you so bashful, Miles? Yes, all hot, please. Caliente. Tell her, caliente. Caliente. <laughs> <laughs> that's correct. Thank you so much. You know. So it's pumps of chai. Well, like, that's how they don't. That's how they make it at a Starbucks. Not with the not with the can of chai. Because I've seen TikToks of Starbucks workers that are like, when people order an iced chai and they're so happy because they only have to do glug glug. Glug glug. Glug glug glug. Well, it's still a pump. That's a pump? Glug glug. glug, It's like glug 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 glug. I mean, at least we did a pump of chai. I don't think we did a pump. We just measured it out, but it it came in a big jug. But it's not a syrup. Ice chai is pre mixed. I mean, it's all pre mixed. It's not a syrup, though. No, it is a syrup. Huh. Glug glug. But it still is caffeinated. Like, it's like. You're screaming. (laughs) (laughs) We get that you're passionate about (laughs) about being a barista, and we know that you used to do that, but I just wanted to let you know. As a listener right now. Oh my god, I'm mortified. <laughs> You're I've screaming. Never more, I've never been more embarrassed. Yeah, so it's uh you get the pump pump of the glug glug. <laughs> I've never been more embarrassed in my life. <laughs> of being laid out to dry. By the way, that's the IHOP that I you, you proposed to me in. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it absolutely is. We're, you know where we are? You're right. Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> That's the IHOP where we got first got married. That's right. No, not married. We said it right the first time. Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking how Burbank, like on my drive over, Burbank is kind of the storage closet of the film industry. <laughs> you know I what I mean? With that. People are like, I guess where do we put all our, sh- our props? Yes, yeah, like everything that like, ugh, it's kind of hard to get in. It's like, ugh, it's ugly, but like <laughs> everything that you need is here. I yeah. think that's correct. I mean, all of Los Angeles wasn't urban planned <gasps> per se. What? Miles, what? what? Oh, I'm sorry. I just saw that there's a Chuck E. Cheese across the street. You know, I've never been to a Chuck E. Cheese in my life. We cannot go to a Chuck E. Cheese at 9.30. We're not going <laughs> to. It's a dark place. Hey, you guys want to do the games? You're right, Rainy. It's 10.35, and we can. <laughs> well, obviously, that's a spoiler for a future blog. Yeah, no. I mean, I, 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 don't say a no, I don't want to be a naysayer. We, we had go. We had Chuck E. Cheese equivalents in my town. There was a place called Leapin' Lizards. It was just a one-on-one. It wasn't a chain. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> and they had their own games. Uh, we had we had other places like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've never actually been to a Chuck E. Cheese. Can I tell you something? It's worth it. No, I think I only went <laughs> once when I was a kid, and then like uh, twenty seven times when I was like twenty five. <laughs> um, Miles, I have I have really bad news for you, and I'm sorry no. I didn't even listen. What the fuck? to that? So we what have our, our lunch order. No, no, and. <laughs> You ordered a duck sandwich, and Desiree has told you, sir, there is no duck sandwich on this menu. <laughs> oh, fuck. Which you makes you me? sound insane. <laughs> sorry, I thought. <laughs> to, to, <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. I'm, I'm getting embarrassed left and right on the podcast. 
I thought it was. What was that? Yeah, that other place is called. Uh... Wait, Alvin Time doesn't have fucking duck. No, right. that's a different this place. This sounds like the bougiest person. <laughs> I'll have the duck. <laughs> Now I'm going to I'm going to reply, well then you better find a place that has one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Well then that's a good question. I mean, Rainy, what yeah. did you get for lunch today? I got the Chinese chicken chopped salad. Yeah, I don't and... know that I want that. <laughs> but I, I do want the duck. <laughs> oh, is it fig and prosciutto is what I was thinking? No, you're thinking of a different restaurant. And that's... I know exactly what you're talking about. I forgot what it's called. No. Oh, braised short rib. Yeah. Um <clears throat> telling okay. them that you're livid right now. Can you say braised short rib? <laughs> Hang on, wait. I'll just do I'll I'll just do a voice memo. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll have the braised short rib driving right now. Talk later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Braised short rib driving right now. Talk later. <laughs> and that's yeah. on a group chat with the entire company. <laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> That's not any freelancers, right? That's because we're not shooting today. <laughs> I get a little worried. I was like, if it's just the people that I know, that's fine. But if it's like other extracurricular people that came in to, for the day to like build props or something, I don't know. Yeah. Is I'd this? I'm, oh, thank goodness. There's a cup holder. Yeah, um, this entire thing fell off the other day, so be careful. Well, I was mostly just worrying about ho- holding it here and then spilling it all on this. No, you put it in the cup holder. So, Miles, you uh, said that this car smelled like hairspray. Oh, my and God. And we'll get no, into so it. It smells like hair product because I left hair product in here. It's been a little toastier recently. Mm-hmm. And what it basically happened was the entire car heated up and um, a little Old Spice hairspray. Old Spice hair, hairspray? Old Spice hair pate. That's um, what you use? Not to be confused with pate that you eat. Uh, <laughs> is uh, it's sort of the whole how, how, what I don't have it. In my, don't talk about my greasy hair right now, Zach. I literally can't handle it. <laughs> no, I was just looking. I can't <laughs> fucking handle it. I did a shower this morning because I'm a father, working father. <laughs> I was Miles. I want you to know that I was looking at your hair and I was saying, "You're telling me that with a little pate, I can have hair like yours." Nah, well, you need a little more than pate. <laughs> But let me tell you. <laughs> do you think I should try some out? Yeah, do it uh, now. You can. It smells like kind of nice. You don't like the smell? Well, just not when you put your nose right into it. Oh, let me. That's what I was saying. That it smells. It smells like a little. It's like a little intense. It's, it's not, intense. It's not so intense. But um, anyway, oh guys, I have to be honest about something. So this week I accidentally shaved my beard a little too short. So if you're noticing that, why does Miles look like way younger? It's because my beard is just like a, a little shorter than it's been in a long time. Hmm. You should go more. No, I need it to be longer. I looked like a hot dad before, and now I just feel like I look like some guy. Yeah. We did a video where we... Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I was curious about your thoughts. <laughs> Don't move on. I think that you should shave all the way down and surprise no, us just one, one day. time for the oh, one time? Come I'm on. I'm going to look weird. I know you will. That's why I want it. No, because here's the thing. I'm going to look weird. And I'll do it with like, you. It'll grow back. I'll look you weird, barely too. have a beard, and I, you haven't had one for that long. I have a beard. Well, but I want to see your beard go way longer, and you're not going to do that. Oh, okay, I'll go longer if you take yours off. I've shaved it before, and it makes me look... I feel like my face looks like... I don't even know. It looks like when you see someone naked for the first time. I, I will because t- it's like you're not used to seeing that part of their body, and it's not used to seeing the sun. Yeah, I since Wait. I've added facial hair, I've <laughs> lost like definition in my chin. Yeah, and it's it's bad. You've wait, you've added facial and you've lost definition. Yeah, no, no, like no. I I shaved my no, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. shaved my beard oh. once to be like, oh, there's oh no, it makes you feel like oh my god, like my face. I don't have the chin that I need to have to not have a shaved face. It's 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 been said before. It's makeup for men. No, oh, literally. Yeah. Hashtag make makeup for men. Just makeup. Because I want to talk about products with you guys. By the way, I do, I mean, I've said this before, but I want to get into skincare so that I can just have a lot of little tinctures and bottles. Because oh I gosh. love the little labels, the little brands. There the- is nothing I love more <laughs> than spending money on marketing. It's yeah. like. I'm really, can, can I be honest? About yeah. I'm worried she's going to think that we're do- trying to do a prank. But yeah. we're really not. Just we'll tell just her. say, thank you for the caliente. No. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything funny. Okay. Yeah, at this point, we're just sort of sitting at the gonna, We're just going to pause. We're just going to have a nice, chill energy. We want to be chill boys. We don't um, want to make uh, the day harder than it has to be. No, of course not. Absolutely not. But I am excited about Oh, I did get a cake pop. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah, you did. You, yeah, you got a cake pop and, and a chocolate croissant. And a croissant. There were to share. Mm. <laughs> the cake, cake pop, pop probably <laughs> harder to share. <laughs> I'll take the first. So I'll put the whole thing in my mouth. I'll do the first scrape, sock. <laughs> yeah, scrape just the thin layer on the outside, then give it to you. I, we're gonna make it to the car wash, right? 
Yeah, because yeah. I'm really hoping. Of course we no, are. No, no, no. We're only half an hour in. Okay, we're only half an hour in. Okay. This show is an hour for time. a reason. People love it and they they're excited about it. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna pause until we have my our chachas. Okay. We're back, baby. We've got our Starbies. We've got our chachas. I'm gonna reach onto your what lap you here. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Because I have yeah. no idea what to expect. No, Sugary. I'm really concerned. I'm curious. Now, was this it a recommendation or a dare? This was. <laughs> <laughs> this was neither. Really, uh, let me pull into the IHOP parking lot so we can really give our full <laughs> undivided attention to the cha-cha. Um, I like to cha-cha. Miles just crossed a double yellow line. He just broke the law. No, you guys no, just wa- you guys just, just saw it happen. No way. Traffic violation. I actually, some pancakes? Yes. That'd be awesome. Um, okay, so my expectations for the cha-cha is that it's going to be a blast of flavor, but again, this was a Twitter recommendation, and sometimes you can't trust those guys. Those fuckers. All right, and now you, okay, I'm going to start with the regular cha-cha with oat. Yeah. Here we slurp. Here we go. Mm. Hot. Hot? Mm. Really? What? You like it. It's, you know what? What? It tastes like a little treat. And that's virgin. (laughs) Virgins can have treats. That (laughs) cornfeld. I want to put a poster that has that quote on it. Virgin skin. Virgin have treats. treats. Put that on the grid. All right. So, Rainy, <laughs> right. we obviously are having our our whole dirty cha cha. All of our throats are going to get thick. You think that they remember to do dirty? Let's see. Oh my god! Hang on. Whoa. I just licked the that thing. That was delicious. The, the that thing, the little, I'll say this, the green whoa. stick. I'll say this, cha- uh, matcha is not my favorite. And so one of the reasons that someone sent me to drink this drink was that um, I- grow the fuck up. One of the reasons <laughs> that someone sent me to drink this drink was that I said uh, matcha is not necessarily my favorite. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm trying to get into it because I would like to like it, but I don't yet. And uh, they were said, do the cha-cha. So let's try it. Here it is, the dirty cha-cha. Yum. How slurps. That tastes like fall. Whoa. That's pretty good. Autumn. I definitely burned my tongue. I didn't. But Uh-oh. I think that it tastes, it's a, almost a little, here's what I'll say. This has been the Cha Cha Review. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And we got 40 more minutes for you. <laughs> this, uh, this intersection that we're at right now, I feel like we've got a season's worth of plog content. Because we've got <laughs> a Starbucks drive through Big time. Check. Mm-hmm. I hop behind us. That'll be an episode a Zanku chicken, you better believe. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, Kmart, I mean, that's in a wing stop. Those are each episode. That's each episode, right? But it does, it, it's something about, you know what it is? It's content, but it's slowed down. It's slowed way down. Now, we're going to have to get into the cake pop. Oh my God, you're right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, Which flavor did you get? Well, again, these are to share. I, I think that what's good about. <laughs> I don't think I said. The plug yeah. is that we are reminding people in this. Fast-paced TikTok short form oh. culture. Oh yeah, we're reminding you to stop and smell the cake pops. I agree. And um, okay, so is it birthday cake? I think that one's the birthday one. You only got the birthday one. I just said cake pop. No, you said birthday cake. Pop. Birthday cake pop. <laughs> um, Rainy, I think you get the inaugural. Oh, thank you, bite. Rainy. Get in there. So a cake pop is essentially, in case you're wondering, a piece of cake that has been made into a little sphere. Oh man, hold this. So is, awesome. it, is that good? I naysayed, but you know what? Yum. And people are loving those mouth mm. sounds. Okay, Miles is getting into the birthday cake cake pop. Wow, huge bite. <laughs> he just put his entire mouth on it. Wow, that's uh, just over a half of the cake pop. Is I, I, could, I had to go to the other side. You had to. It has a sort of flour aftertaste, like F L O U R. Oh my god, yeah, it kind of melts into a gummy in your Love mouth. That. I'll say I actually think that it's um a little too moist. Hmm. Yeah, it is coating some? my mouth. I don't. <laughs> Copy I that. Brandy, you want to finish it? <laughs> 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 we both loved it yet. Don't want to have a single other bite. And now can the- you just put this in a napkin? And put it in the- <laughs> we both thought it was fantastic. We're save that for lunch. Yeah. We'll save the kachaku for lunch. For the car wash. For the oh, we'll eat it in the car wash. Yeah, let's okay. get going, let's gang. Get going, We've been guys. teasing this too much. No, I agree. We gotta work in at the car, car wash. wash. Yeah. All right, Zach, I'm gonna need you to hold this. Yep. So we can get it done. And now, while we're on our way to the car wash, y'all wanted to ask me questions about the Mario video. 
Oh yeah, wait. So, um, so the Mario video came out this morning, and how are you feeling about um, its performance so far? And also, you get to edit it a little bit, right? Uh, only a little bit. So, I had a video where I, I, the the premise is taking mushrooms at Super Mario World. Yeah. It began as a bit, and then it became my manifest destiny. <gasps> I love that word, manifest destiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you, do you yeah. Do you, do you remember Manifest Destiny? It was. Uh, it was Teddy Roosevelt's. Uh huh. Which I don't love. I or who knows? I can't remember what he did. Honestly. Sarah read a book about Teddy and loved it. I like the name Teddy. It's yeah. a good name. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, what else? So, one, one of the more successful uh, ad campaigns ever to get people to all agree that we needed to go west. Oh, Ingrid goes west. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Are you tired of only knowing how to speak one language? Are you like me? Something Becky and I have been talking about lately is how we really wish we had done a better job learning Spanish in middle school and high school. I only got two years of it in Tennessee and I really enjoyed it at that time, but then I let it all go away and I really see how handy it would be. I mean, it is spoken by a lot of people in the country I live and especially in the city I live. I wish I could speak Spanish. Uh, and one way that I'm going to help myself is with Rosetta Stone. It is the expert in language learning for 30 years and an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. I know a lot of people who have used Rosetta Stone. They all love it. And what's great about it is just how many languages that you can learn. There are 25 different languages that you can learn through Rosetta Stone. There's ways to make real progress in as little as 10 minutes at a time. So it's a good thing to do. It's always great to have new skills. It sharpens up your brain. It helps you fit in when you're going somewhere new. And ultimately, you look cool and good doing it. For a limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever for 40% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash tryguys today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. Well, so anyway, a bit more about the video. So you made the video, it came out, it was sort of a new format. You decided to uh, like take some of the, uh, do an homage to a style of video that we have not normally done. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the premise is <laughs> taking a drug and being in a goofy place. Right. Um, but stylistically, it's really fun because it's a lot of voiceover. It was fun filming the video. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know who I'm... I'm going to disappoint people both ways here by admitting that the video is edited in a way to make me look like I am super high when in fact I was not. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, at the end of the day, I was filming a video uh, with Rachel and I wanted to be responsible and make sure that we, you know... I didn't want to lose my fucking mind. So it would have been a lot more fun yeah. had I actually lost my mind, sure. but, you know, whatever. Now, what will it take? Was it wasn't any more high than I wasn't any without a recipe. Am I right? Am I right? Am That's I right. right. Zaza. Well, so here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. What would it take? Sometimes, obviously, we have to embellish the content when it's drug or alcohol related. What will it take you to... Sorry, go on. Sorry, is that a spoiler? Should no, I, I, I don't. I don't think that we do. I, when we've done like drunk first high videos, I don't. Oh no, think no, no, that no. We're, you're we're actually doing it. Up. it. But I'm talking about like you're like, what if I had actually lost my mind? What would it take for you to be like, I'm gonna take too many mushrooms and you guys kill <laughs> me? Uh, if if this does well and people like it, they'll ask for more. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a slave to the algorithm. <laughs> well, I mean, like, if this I, does well. Like, you'll never <laughs> see me sober. I Maggie found out last night that this video was coming out, and she's like, "Wait, you called it." Taking and then she Googled if mushrooms were legal and she realized they're not. And I'm like, yeah, obviously. Oh, that's <laughs> really she's, like, in she's like, wait, are you allowed to release a video admitting you did something Ill illegal? And I'm like, don't worry about it. I, I eat a cartoon in it. Okay, everybody, we're at the car wash. We're at the car wash, and we are about to get <gasps> soaked. Oh, Let's I'm get so wet. This is the nostalgia episode. We're about to get real wet. And is this the guy who's gonna? Okay, he's gonna lead us to freedom. <laughs> Car wash entrance. Let's. Oh, this is a short oh, one. This is he is really short. He is confused. I don't think it's that short. I think that you're giving it too little credit. It's just and it's um, the one where you you drive yourself. Well, it's not which dark. Seems like bullshit to me. No. no oh, you mean as opposed to the ones where that push you along, that yeah. like hook you on the bottom. Well, it depends on how long this takes. We could hit a couple other ones too. <laughs> Great point. Or I think we do, should. Or just do one, a couple yeah. loops. Honestly, we could do a couple loops if I feel like the bird shit. Well, here's the thing. We actually are. This is sort of like when you go like a bounty paper towel versus the other brands. Oh, and they yeah. Kind of like somebody will like smear cream cheese on mm -hmm. something and then try to wipe it up. There's bird shit all over my car. There's a lot of bird poo poo. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like the question is, if it gets the bird poop poop off. 
than in a way we've won. And honestly, we can go back around and look and tell the attendant, look, there's still bird shit <laughs> in the car. We got to do another round. I want you to say, hey, here's the company card. Yeah. Run it up. <laughs> Make it happen. Make, Make it happen. Whatever you got to do. Any means necessary. So w- w- we just filmed this uh, Mario World video. What was very funny that couldn't make it into the video is, so Jared Popkin came dressed as Mario. He's yep. a, a mid, mid-video mid energy boost. If you haven't watched the video yet, or if you only watched a little bit of it, it gets funnier and funnier as it goes. So just go back and, and at least watch from when Jared joins, because from that point forward, it is mm. electric. But he came dressed as Mario in kind of his own costume with a mustache, and he was getting stopped so much walking oh. in by himself <clears throat> That he had to take fully take the costume off because people were stopping him for photos. Oh, that's so funny because he looks so much like Mario. <laughs> he was a perfect Mario. No, because he does kind of have a Mario vibe. He's got the Mario je, je ne sais quoi. quoi. <laughs> well, and, and unlike, well, are you allowed to do that at Universal? Because you can't do that at Disney. You can do whatever the fuck you want at Universal. At Disney, if you if you so much as fucking Disney bound. <laughs> They'll, they'll arrest you. They'll put you on the ground in handcuffs. People may not know what this is. Rainy, do you know what Disney bounding is? <laughs> no. What? So you are not allowed. Miles, you put your uh, thing in my cup holder. <laughs> we had a system. Wow. I just exactly. really halted the... Um, I just wouldn't want you to... Halted the energy there. We had a system, and you can't just go mixing it up. No, that's okay. Look, Zach. Am I wrong? I get it. You, you Am like, I wrong? You're sort of like your control freak. Am I wrong? You like the cup holder. I... Law and Order Man. By the way, how the oatmeal <laughs> is the how's the edamame cha cha? There's no edamame. Oh, the oat meal cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Why are you rubbing your nose with the <laughs> mic? <laughs> well, I got a big nose, so it's not intentional. By the way, when you were holding in front of me, you kept like kissing me with it, like touching me in my mouth with it, and I was like, <laughs> "What is going on?" But well, it was pretty funny. What were we talking about? Oh, Mario Disney bounding. Yeah, you're not allowed to dress up as Disney characters and go to Disney. They will make you take off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> They'll strip search you. They'll be like, Are you, "Oh, you're wearing Goofy's pants. Fucking get on the ground." Well, they don't want they don't want people dressed as like different mascots taking pictures with kids. Like they yeah. don't want to knock off Princess Peach and you know, whatever. They want it to For be if it's going to be good, it's going to be really good. Yeah. So, but then what people do to get around it is they Disney bound, which is oh, yeah. costumes that are reminiscent of so, Who would you Disney bound as? I went Eugene's birthday one year. He made us Disney bound for his birthday. That was like what he made us do. Disney bound and gagged. <laughs> I know. Uh, and so Maggie and I went as <laughs> Wally and Eve. Wally and Eve is cute. And I was Eve. We have a very funny piece of merch coming out that is sort of a Disney bound and gagged. Type of thing. <laughs> oh, the the guilty pleasures one. The guilty pleasures merch is coming out. Have you seen it, Randy? Is it? It's does so it involve obscene. a peach. No. Oh, it was a peach, but it's even more grotesque. It's oh so obscene. I almost think that we like, like, have to get age gate it. Who can buy it? It's. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm, I'll just spoil it. If I can, why spoil not? it because it's gonna come out. And by the way, I was thinking our new merch strategy should just be to make ridiculous stuff that almost has nothing to do with us. Like, I think yeah. I'm I think I'm ready to make the soup slut shirt. Oh I, yeah. I think I'm just stupid for not doing it, so I'm going to send that email today. I think but great. this one uh <laughs> we we talked about Goofy's fat ass, the character Goofy. And oh, so my this gosh. is <laughs> it is a very graphic image of Goofy Goofy with his gloves. Yeah. Kind of not spreading his cheeks, He's spreading his cheeks. but holding his <laughs> voluptuous ass. Yeah. And then it says, yuck. <laughs> it's so, it is Goofy is spreading his ass cheeks. And that's where we put it on a shirt. But by the way, I think if we just do TikTok ads for that shirt, we're going to oh, get yeah. people to buy it who have nothing to do with Guilty oh, yeah. Pleasures or the Tri okay, Guys. I'm going to show Rainy live. What do you think? Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, looking back at it, I would say he's definitely goat seeing. Oh my gosh, she's like lying down too. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's so sexual. Stay tuned, coming to a guilty pleasures near you. Yeah. Now I see we have three options. Well, you know what we're gonna have to do? The platinum wash. <laughs> well, obviously we got to do platinum wash. It's only fifteen bucks. <laughs> I know it's not that much expensive. Much so, expensive? <laughs> am I right, guys? I think we're gonna have to do it a few times. Yeah, we might have to run it, th- run run the bill up. Are you guys sweltering? Why are you not? Are you hot? I'm so Let hot. Let me turn on the AC more. Zach is sort of has a little body that gets cold easily, but 
We're going to just turn that just up just to teens. And then, Zach, you can turn yours off. No, it's okay. I'll send it. Okay. Now, why have you not inserted your card? Because I'm waiting for this car to go through. Do you think I'm going to... I don't want to be paying for their platinum. Oh. Is that how it works? I, I have no so. idea. I just don't know what you're waiting for. This is for. classic Zach, by the way. And just... Every time me and Zach are at a car wash together, he does this. <laughs> <laughs> Which is all the time, to be frank. To be Zach. Okay, so the noise is going to get just a little louder. Oh, wait. See, see now I'm worried that this is going to... See? See, I had to get out of the way of that thing. that thing. I think I should get out of the car. Yeah. Okay. Because it's sort of too far away. You have long arms. <laughs> Alright, get out of here, Miles. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. Alright, Rainy. All right. You've got well, 60 seconds gone. on the clock. Well, just the two of us. What do you want to talk about? Ready, go. I want to talk about tea. I want to talk about your tea, your drama. Yes. Do you have any? Um... Or we can talk about <laughs> Timothy and Kylie. Yeah, what do we think about that? I think it's It's fake. weird. It doesn't I feel do right. I do think it's fake. Apparently, though, but there was a video of them meeting that has been scrubbed since the rumors came out. We're talking about Timothee Chalamet and, and, Kylie. and Kylie Jenner. Now, it's a weird pairing to me, and it yeah. also feel, I See, here's the thing. I don't think it's fake, mm -hmm. because I think that Timothee is an artist and is above that that tabloid nonsense. Okay, Schmaus is back. Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. What? But right? Timothee I mean, Chalamet and Kylie Jenner. This R is Rainey's saying she thinks it's fake, but I'm they're like They're dating? Yeah, there's rumors. So <laughs> You broke that to me like it was devastating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's rumors. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, that is sort of interesting. I find that when celebrities date each other, it just sort of is like they're just trying to feel something, you know? And they, they mm -hmm. have a very unique experience where their circle gets very small uh -huh. despite, like, them being famous. Right. Well, what I love about this story is someone was like, Dumois, are you sure? And she was like, a thousand P, sure. <laughs> but, all caps, but, IDK, probably casual, might just be, not oh death's God. not girlfriend, boyfriend. I think Dumois is just so bad for the world. But Rainy, if you were... <laughs> I'd be a thousand percent okay, sure, wait, I but I don't down. know. I wrote this down. If you were right. super fame, would you go on a date with Kylie Jenner? Um, yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> if you were super know. famous and... Would I go on a date? Yeah. Now, here's the thing. I will say I'm woefully <clears throat> straight, so it's like... No, sure. We're just going to the hypothetical. I was going to say for me and Miles, <laughs> but we're both... I'm woefully straight. We're both married, so it feels inappropriate, but oh. I'll just say, like, if I were super fame, like, I would... Even if I had negative feelings about the genders, I would still be like, yeah, I'm curious. I, I guess I have to. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, this is what I think It would be probably good for, like, your career. Did oh, you go yeah. on a date with Kylie? For sure. Oh, my gosh. The amount of Instagram followers. This is just so that we get the facts straight. Dumois says, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is just so we get the facts absolutely correct. Dumois says. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, hun a thousand P sure, but who knows? Prob casual, not boyfriend, girlfriend. A thousand? Not boyfriend, girlfriend. So okay. I just am like, okay, so they're hooking up. Like, that's so funny to me. <sighs> to I be, mean, Yeah, casually hooking up when you're that famous is really funny to me, too. Also, what's funny is that Timote is such like, he's got such a little tiny chin. Chin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like as a yeah. short king, I can say like he's just got such tiny bony face body, and mm. she's she's like voluptuous woman, isn't that her you thing? You know what I think yeah. is weird about this? I think he's sort of the like dweeby, talented, smart guy, and mm -hmm. she's the like popular girl, and that doesn't usually like why are they together? You yeah, know that is kind of interesting. I mean, to me again, I think it's like they met at a party, hit it off, yeah, and now like the, again, your circle is small, right? And they probably both know like okay. For Timothy Chalamet, he's just like, whoa, like, I can't believe this kind of superstar popular girl likes me. But and he, for her, he, she's probably like, he's artsy he, and cool. He was cool, though. He is cool. He's always been cool. No, he's in, always in cool. In high school, you think he was cool? I know for a fact he was what? cool. Did you How? not see his rap video? Yeah, he was cool. He made Xbox controllers, too. Oh, Green Arrow. All okay, right, guys. This is our time. We are going we are, in. We are in the car we wash. This is a small tunnel. So uh, driving forward. How do forward. we know? I feel like we're going too fast and too far. No, I'm supposed to drive forward it and then I stop. drive forward. Stop. Okay, stop. And now we're going to wait here. Now I'm in park. And by the way, we haven't talked about it, but the Jeep in front of us has a bumper sticker that says, let's pray yeah. in red Whoa. for America. It was pretty upsetting to Certainly me. Certainly a, a piece of shit, right? Yeah, definitely a piece of shit. Okay. Let's pray for America. Yeah. I think America will be just fine, okay? 
Rababiambo. <laughs> oh, Wimbo, 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 so you got to do the Wimbo way. <laughs> one of us has to do the Wimbo way, and then well, one of us does the. First so, of all, we're getting misted, and I don't want to miss it. Okay, so first thing that's happening is that we're getting misted, and uh, that's pretty exciting. We're not just getting misted; uh, we're getting misted and soaped. Yeah, yeah, which I always wondered about because I'm like, okay, oh shit, it's ah! fucking coming, dude. It's fucking ah! coming. Miles, open the sunroof. No! <laughs> So, okay, there's a giant uh, uh, like scrubby. It's like scrubby. a big moment of every car wash. Coming Whoa. over our windshield. Whoa. We should be recording from this side, too, honestly. Oh, shit. I feel so alive right oh, now. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, it sounds like we're in torrential downpour. Yeah, this is insane. Okay, and now the scrubbies are coming oh along the side. Gosh. Here we go. Here Get we go. Can I open the go. window real quick? No. Just, a little, just like a little hello. Wow. Hello? I mean, these are really all, just these are like scrubbing. that. It's quiet again. Honestly, this is the part of the car wash that always made me like feel wistful. <laughs> I it's used like to, dark and quiet. My dad used to bring me to a car car wash where I had to get out of the car, and I'm like, "What's even the point?" And then you go in the middle and you watch it go through. <sighs> well, you okay, to get out Scrubby's of coming along the side. Scrubby is. Oh, uh, oh, oh! It stopped. Oh, and now we're going again. Have you ever thought? Oh about, my god! It's like a uh, fucking oh. tornado. Gee, have you ever thought about walking through a car wash? Yeah, thought, every day. Obviously, every day of my life. That is crazy. <laughs> what if you put razor blades on that? Oh my god. <laughs> what if you put that? I love that the plug has really turned us into children in the best way. <laughs> what if you put razor blades on that? Do you think it got the poo poo? I think it did. Look, it, it fucking wiped it right off, man. No way. It can't be that easy. It looks like it got all the poop. Now, Miles, you're not used to this because you're more of a uh, hand wash guy. You get yeah. you get someone to come by your house. And I get buff ten, it. To, ten to forty um, people to come to my house to just kind of scrub her down. You have you like to have your car waxed. By the way, my car has never been cleaner. I don't think your car's ever been clean. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Zach's classes know somehow. Yourself. Know yourself. Zach said Zach somehow classes. Um Oh, see, look at it, listen to all the sounds. By the way, for the audio listeners, I just hope that you know that this is like we're giving you nighttime sleep sounds almost. People could people do listen to the episode before bed. That we're then screaming over. Yeah, then we're <laughs> then, <laughs> then, then uh, fully screaming wait, over. Wait, can we talk about the, the cleanies? The, the rubber the, the brushy, the rubber. I, I mean, thought that they would be cloth. Oh! 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 Oh, film it, film it, film it. Woo! We just got splurted <laughs> with multicolor goo. It is yellow with bursts of purple and blue and green, and who even knows what chemicals they. Oh! Whoa! Sparkling. It's now sparkling and green. It just oh my washed God. it off. And now it didn't scrub that off. It just did a goo and then rinsed. Or I think we're getting more goo. It's sort of hard to and say. And now up here, it's. Pa, pa, pa. Whoa. Pa, 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 pa. This is honestly like this is the best this day is of my really, life. This is really it's it's really making me feel at home. Who needs therapy? Oh, it's really exhilarating. I'm gonna start ta taking my therapy sessions in the car in the car wash. Yeah. To the car wash. Oh, what do you think's oh, up with this purple oh, light up ahead? There is sort of these like retro Stranger Things ass looking lights, and I kind of <laughs> love them. They make me feel <laughs> right at home. Being and Stranger it, Things, Millie Bobby Brown got engaged. How do you I feel saw, about that? Well, I think that she probably there's def almost definitely without a doubt a prenup because she's 19. Do you, well, do you, she's marrying Bon Jovi's son. I know, but exactly that's why it's going to be a prenup marriage. Wait, it's actually Bon Jovi's son. Yeah. I thought that his name was last name was just Bon Jovi, and it was hilarious. That's really funny. <laughs> I think that probably for Millie, I think this is like marriage one, and I, I not to naysay, but mm -hmm. she's just gotten so famous so quickly. She's still pretty much a kid to me. Yeah. And this has been the Millie Bobby Brown minute with Miles B. <laughs> Checking in with Millie. <laughs> Uh, it's just so <sighs> satisfying every time the water comes down because it's like, look at how crisp and clean that windshield is. It makes me feel like I'm inside the ocean. Open yes. your window just for one second. <laughs> Rainy gets <laughs> fucking blasted with a jet, I think breaks it, her nose somehow. I think it would be funny. <laughs> this is my livelihood, Zach. Yeah. I put my heart and soul. I built this car with my bare hands. <laughs> my Prius won. Not even a Prius C. Whoa. Ooh. The lights literally are like gorgeous. Did you hear that sound? It sounds so good in the headphones. Okay, if the, <laughs> uh. if, if the Mario video gets three million views, yeah. we'll make a video or at least a plug called 
I washed. I took <laughs> mushrooms and went into 10 car washes. Honestly, though, this is so good. I'm like, well, the plog is still taking shape, but maybe every episode we get <laughs> coffee and go to a different car wash. <laughs> Instead of doing new experiences, it's just a car wash review of Los Angeles. Oh, oh it's time well. to drive forward. No, no, drive no, forward. no, no, it's no already? Over. Well, One no, now we, time. now we get air <laughs> blasted. Time. Oh, the air is kind of fun, though. So now we're in this kind of neon light strip. But I think I'm supposed to stop. <laughs> it doesn't say to stop, but I want to. I think we're going to stop. So I oh, wait, there's a, there's a countdown. Time remaining. And it's at oh, 77, 77 seconds. seconds. It's kind of a long time. Okay, gang, welcome to 70 Seconds in Heaven, where we're going <laughs> to talk about whatever we want. Right. Yeah. Oh, wait, just we just jumped ten seconds. Now it's six. Now it's fifty-five seconds. We no, just it's sixty. You just can't see the corner of the six. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, Rainy, ready, go. Well, I have to get a new car. Oh yeah, Rainy. So Rainy's car fully broke down on the highway. Do you want to talk about that? Have you already talked about that? No, I haven't. This is what had happened: is that I was obviously my car was breaking, and then it ran out of gas on the highway. It was a very scary. I was a hashtag damsel in distress. Wait, it ran out of gas? No, no, it didn't run out of gas. It just stopped working. Okay. Like the, I mean, I can get into the details of the fuel pump and stuff, but blah. So then- While I, you were driving, was it like- yeah. No, it just, and check engine light went on and the gas wasn't working. Wow. So then I, I obviously get out of my car, trying not to cry. Cause it's like, I don't have time to cry. Yeah, that's I have scary. to stay hashtag focused. I don't have time to cry. I don't have no time to cry. And then I called AAA, but as I was on the phone with AAA, Highway Patrol came back. Oh, and we've got 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah 10 seconds. Fucking, Sorry. I was yeah. just trying to, trying to just go forward and miss. I apologize. The but last five seconds. This is, I mean, this is what I'll say. Oh, very good. Oh, and look Three, at us seeing up. Two, two, one. one. And we're out. And this has been 70 Seconds in Heaven. Rainy, please continue the story. Oh, that sound. Oh. <laughs> it really makes it how apparent how dirty the inside of the car is. Um, actually, Rainy, why don't you pause the story real quick, and I'm going to do a poop check. Yeah, poop check. Oh, yeah, check the Zach. poop on the car. Checking the poop with Zachy Poops. Wait, watch out, <laughs> the cable. Zach. Man, Zach's pants are crazy looking. I love his now, pants. I was thinking about that this morning. What was the, what's the verdict? Uh, good news, bad news. No. Your car has never looked better. Yeah, honey. Your car was <laughs> so blasted with poop that yeah. there is still a little bit. Damn, like, I'm wondering if these birds, like, targeted me because of what? Because you're the bourgeoisie. Because you're no, not afraid you're to speak truth to power. The birds are the bourgeoisie. You're the number one threat. I kind of agree with that. Yeah. If anybody's going to take down capitalism with one foul swoop, it's going to be Miles Bonson. One foul swoop. <laughs> not <laughs> foul. Oh, that's foul good. Foul swoop. Because birds are fowls. This? It was really <laughs> clever. I can't believe that just happened. So, Rainy, you were driving the car. You ain't got no oh, time yeah. to cry. You're giving it up. You're giving it up. You're loving. You're living. You're giving it up. You're Ooh. giving it up. You're, you're giving, giving it up. up. You're loving. You're living. living you're giving, giving it up. up. Boom. Bam. 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 Come on, now, Rainy, tell your story. Well, here's here's a, actually a new topic. I'm feeling a little insecure Don't about Don't do a singing. new topic because we want to hear about the car. But oh. also tell us about your insecurity. About your insecurity Maybe tell us about your insecurity first. Okay, so my insecurity of singing is because in the comments, they, everybody was like, Rainy's stone deaf. And I was like, I actually didn't know that. So that was... <laughs> sorry, Rainy. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, well, It's okay. But I'm just, you know, so now I'm like, I don't want to sing. So wait, that's tough. No, that's tough to learn sing. because all this time you were singing... You didn't know I that mean, you were was, allegedly yeah. tone deaf, and now to have a bunch of internet strangers tell you that, right. was that hard? Well, it's like, well, I was Glinda in my eighth grade rendition of Wizard of Oz. How could I be tone deaf? Maybe it's, you know? maybe it's... Well, it was eighth grade. Wait, look You at can that. become that tone deaf? Flame. What? There's a flame. Oh, yeah, that's the Burbank flame. Is that a thing? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yeah, Burbank has a fi It's the Olympic torch. They leave it in Burbank every year. Shut up. <laughs> Rainy, was, it, was that, I mean, just to be real for a second, it, I imagine it's not easy to have a bunch of internet strangers tell you mm. that you're a bad singer. I'd like to see them sing. Or tone deaf. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Uh, singing to me is not a, I don't need to be a good singer. It's never right. going to help me. So it's like, the stakes are low. And I knew, I, I always knew I wasn't good. But to be tone deaf to me sounds like uh, much more extreme. I would rather be tone deaf than a bad singer. Because tone deaf means that you just don't actually even, you just, your, your ear wavelength is not attuned. And it's not your yeah. fault. Whereas bad singer means like, you just don't got the chops. Yeah. You could have the chops. Right. You just don't have the right tone. 
Uh-huh. Um, here's what I'll say. Yeah. I think that step one, Rainy, you're not that bad of a singer. And also you can it's learn. Miles. And it's also your parents' fault because well, you were born with perfect pitch. Yeah. yeah, you were born with perfect pitch. Yeah. Just your parents. And, and then your parents ruin it as they go. And I'm trying not to ruin Julian's. And also, the second thing I had to say was <laughs> the dirty cha cha is really good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Me now going. that it's cooled down, I'm like, wowie zowie. Yeah, I it's think really, we're cha cha people. Yeah. It's like the perfect sort of balance of like, it's not too much pumpkin spice, but there's sort of a, a sliver of that. Mm hmm. Let's make merch that says, I like to cha cha. I like to cha cha. Well, here's the question. <laughs> So, Brainy, I need you to finish your story about the car because oh, yeah. it ends with you in handcuffs. It certainly <laughs> does. Uh, and before, I, I just want to, Rainy. Yeah. I hope you know that your alleged tone deafness brings a lot of joy oh. and brought me a lot of joy. And mm-hmm. so I would Aww. say that your, if you are tone deaf, mm. it has brought me more joy than Miles' perfect pitch. Oh, wow. thank you. So. Pitch perfect much? And I do have perfect pitch. Pick, pick, <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, we're at an hour and three, that's so great. I don't know. Do you think that's enough? I think we, we are we're so good and ready. I want to hear the ending of your story, and uh-huh. then I'll give advice that will go for miles, and then we'll end. Okay, perfect. So essentially, I I mean, uh, oh my gosh. So my car is sputtering. I pull over into like the in between the right lane and the merge. There's like this. Thankfully, this little like I was driving on the right because I knew my car was on the fritz. Like I knew I was you know down bad. Yeah. And so <laughs> I like it runs out. I'm on the phone with AAA. This highway patrol within five minutes comes. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank mm. you, taxes. Taxes at work. Whoa. Because that was very helpful. Rainy, so, Rainy said, all cops are bastards, but this one was helpful. This one's going to be helpful. good for me to not die on the side of the highway. <laughs> I don't even know if he was a cop because he had like a toe. I think he was full oh. of accidents. just a guy. It was, he was just, just a guy. Some guy in a Volvo. Yeah. He was Can like, I help you, little lady? Yeah. And I was like, he was like, what's going on? And I was like, um, I pulled over in my car and I don't know what to do. And he was like, get in my car. And I was like, okay. Whoa. Yeah. So then he pulls me just like just a second over uh like just off the exit and then parks me it's like we're in the car for like a minute and a half yeah wow. where zach calls me in a minute and a half if zach calls you to which you say i'm in a squad cruiser <laughs> yeah I'm in the back of a squad car yeah and um and so yeah so essentially I, while i'm waiting for triple a i'm also starving because i was going to the office to get sweet green my sweet green order <laughs> and so i'm like freaking out triple is taking forever i'm like i have to get food so there's only like this like you know kebab place nearby so i go get a kebab well <laughs> yeah kebab yeah whoa and then triple a comes they actually tow it to the wrong place so then they have to that super nice guy that i was talking to and he towed it to a different place and now we get to the point where i'm looking at every single car on the road thinking should i get that one should i get that one should i get that one but mostly <laughs> what i want is a subaru cross trick su- I, I wanted a subaru before we got this prius because they're a little off the ground right mm-hmm that's cool. They're also just very You loyal. strike me as a sob girl. A sob? <laughs> <laughs> I think I strike me as a Mercedes bitch. But Whoa. That's for a later time. Oh. From there? Yeah, that was a good street. Oh, you like right that here. one? <laughs> Um, what? Yeah, I mean, it's my favorite balloon shop. Oh, I oh, love balloon shop. <laughs> it's also a church. It's actually a Montessori. Oh. Um, okay, the real piece of advice, and mm-hmm. this sucks, yeah. but is to carve out your day. Yeah. You go and you don't leave and you mm-hmm. will wait and they will bring that price down. And if you're not afraid to, if you're afraid to do it, you bring someone with you who's not afraid. Mm-hmm. And now the modern day, what you do is you go to a dealership and look, you may be thinking, no, I don't care what you're thinking. They car salesmen, <laughs> they jack Whoa. up the prices because that's what they do. Of course. So you're going to go. Let's say you get. Let's say you're doing a Prius. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go to Toyota. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna get an offer. Then you're gonna get on the phone and you're gonna call outside of the LA area within oh. like an hour oh. radius. Mm-hmm. And you're oh. gonna say, "Hey, I'm at this dealership. Yeah, they've got this model. Here's the price they're offering oh. me. Can you beat it?" And then they say, they, "We've got an offer for you." And you pull out a bag of pita and hummus and you say, "I'm good. I'm just gonna have my lunch right here and I'll see what you can do <laughs> after lunch." Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sometimes they will offer to get you lunch. That's if you're really pushing it. That's if you're at the nice dealership. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want us to pick you up Wendy's? <laughs> <laughs> Heard there's a wing stop across the street. Uh, so that's that's really what you got to do. That's do not good accept advice. the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth option. Yeah. That I sounds love- like a lot of work. It is, but you know you're saving yourself thousands of dollars. Yeah. Good point. Um, well, Rainy, I'm I'm wishing you luck in your car journey. Thank you. Uh, that was kind of like a piece of <laughs> advice that I gave. That was really good. That was which really is weird good. because 
if you want advice, Definitely. there's usually a man that you go to. Yeah. A man with the plan. Mm-hmm. And let me turn on the radio here. Advice. It's advice that'll go four miles. Tune into your radio station. It's advice that'll go four miles. Everyone get ready. Miles Nation. Miles Nation. Go. It's advice that'll go four miles. Advice that'll go four miles. What's up, Miles Nation? How y'all doing tonight? Yes, 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 we are so having fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 we are so having fun. <laughs> Have you ever wanted your life to be as efficient as a freaking Anne Hathaway? Yes, yes, we are so <laughs> having fun. <laughs> Wait, really quick, are you on Anne Hathaway TikTok right now? Because I am. No, I saw one TikTok from Anne. Okay, anyway, <laughs> proceed. How do we feel about the fact that Anne Hathaway named herself after Shakespeare's wife? She named herself? Well, you know she's the second, like, she's the reincarnation. That's the theory. She's the reincarnation of Shakespeare? Yeah, there's, like, this whole thing because it's, like, in the last life. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> We've uncovered something. Wait, she's the reincarnation of Shakespeare or Shakespeare's wife? Well, it's because Shakespeare in the last life, Anne Hathaway had to be in the, the bottom, or in the behind the scenes. And now her husband, who I think might be named William and looks exactly like William Shakespeare, is, um, he's, he's in the back scenes now. So they switch spots, but they're true lovers, just like William and Anne, probably. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to be as smart as Robert Pattinson or as brave as Andrew Garfield? <laughs> yes, Robert is smart. My advice to you <laughs> is to start watching TV Early. When you're a tired little bumpkin that needs to hit the sack. I heard that. And I'm not talking ball. You're going to want to go to sleepy by before the high tireds kick in. And so recently I've been like, should we watch the new episode of Succession? Well, I'm too sleepy. Oh, or we could start one. it. it was and good, I did watch it. Really but my point was we started early because we've got the little baby. But this is honestly true before we had the baby because I would sometimes be like, I'm so ready to watch TV. What? 10, 30, 11 p.m. We start it 15 minutes in. I'm in the snooze factory. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I'm on the line fucking making snoozes with all the other workers, we're unionizing, we're rising up against the snooze factory because the snooze factory, actually, people don't talk about this, but the snooze factory fucking has bad wages. And the snooze factory has bad benefits and it's unsafe working conditions. But let me tell you, if you just rise up against the snooze factory fucking owners who all put people's lives on the line. And that's going to get a Tony. And that's a Tony for Miles. <laughs> that's a Tony for Miles. Honestly, a fucking script about the snooze factory, unsafe working conditions. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> you just, was that in your head 10 minutes ago? Did no. You just make it up? My brain goes a miles a second. So my brain goes a miles a second. Sometimes I'm so thinker that it scares Zach, I think. <laughs> It does. Zach, hit him with the tripod theme song. Well, I am back in the car with my friends. And we're getting <laughs> the cha-cha, yeah, with my friends. Mm. And this song never ends. Yeah. This is the first... Of 14 verses. Have a good ass week. Have a good ass week, everybody. I'm with With my friends. friends. Good ass time. Oh, yeah. Go in again with my friends.